You know, it seems only fitting that after the end of December and all of January being so cold, that February starts off the same way. Uh, we've had some icy days, we've had some snowy days, a lot of mornings just like this morning where there's frost on everything. Uh, and if there's anything to remember about snow goose hunting, when it's cold and dreary like that, they don't do a lot of wandering around, a lot of venturing around. And when we're sitting in that 40 foot container at Willow Creek Waterfowl, we need them to get up and, and bounce around and wander around. And when they do, we'll get them. Get ready. Get them. Well, the big question in waterfowl hunting and probably even more so in snow goose hunting is how greedy do you want to get? Uh, we're dealing with a lot of adults here early in the season uh, at this point in the migration. We're not getting greedy. If that first four or five, heck even sometimes two or three, when they get in there, we're going to take them no matter how many are stacked up, up there in the heavens, locked up, looking good. Because uh, all it takes because all it takes is one bird to hit that old alarm sound and everybody's going to peel out.
You know, I'm very fortunate to have Sean and Willow Creek Waterfowl so close to the house. I've spent a ton of time over there the past three years and the number of return clients speaks volumes for what Sean and Shane are doing over there. Yes, you're gonna have a heck of a good time when you're shooting geese, but even on the slow days, there's still a lot of laughs to be had, a lot of high fives. It's a real lighthearted environment. It's a fun environment. And all those return clients speak volumes for what those guys have going on over there. Huge thank you, Sean, Shane, Willow Creek Waterfowl. Looking forward to the rest of the year, and I know that it will warm up and that all those juvies that are down to the south are coming.